Today's event is a regularly scheduled nuclear power plant emergency preparedness field drill. And this is a reception center out at Okahili Park. And what we're doing is simulating a nuclear power plant emergency response here in Palm Beach County. We're designated as a host county for the St. Lucie Nuclear Power Plant Task Force. In partnership with Florida Highway Patrol, we're trying to direct those evacuees down the roadways towards Okahili Park, which is going to be a center where we're going to take all the uh, evacuees to evaluate them. And the four hazmat teams in partnership with PBSO and uh, other agencies, including the EOC, set up this mass detection of radiation contamination on vehicles and also decontamination of the people and pets and, and of the evacuees. As the evacuees are funneled into this park, they go through a, a high pressure water wash to rinse their vehicles of any possible contamination that they carry down with them when they evacuated. And then they go to another station where the hazmat team actually tries to pinpoint where the contamination is on their vehicle so that they can later decontaminate their vehicle. Then they exit the vehicle and then they proceed to the further detection. So we have animal control, they have a pet station. We try to detect if your pet is contaminated with any radiation. You're cleared. So that your pet and you can be safe. We funnel all the people through portal, radiation portal detectors, which is uh, similar to a metal detector. That will detect if there's any radiation on that person. It's contaminated. If we do detect radiation in that first phase, then we send you to a secondary detection where we use more precision equipment. And then from there, we send you to another hazmat team that does what's called technical decon. That's meant to remove all of the radiation off of that person in their clothes so that it doesn't continue to dose that person. If they are indeed contaminated, they are quarantined and then they go through a decontamination process. We offer potassium iodide if it's warranted through the health department and this potassium iodide protects that thyroid gland. We all work together with our hazmat teams as well as uh, um, the sheriff's office as well as the EOC and we put on this very large drill. Over 200 participants on the government side. Our boat operators can take out any radiation safety specialists so they can be able to detect is there any radiological chemicals in the air or just to protect the public that way. Our role is as a secondary screener, so it's, it's our job to identify unknown hazards. We can allow the robot to deploy into that hot zone, into that danger area, uh, so that we don't have uh, any unnecessary hazards posed to our deputies. So on a real event, what our unit would do is we would provide the dose monitoring rate for each of the reception centers. We would get readings on that information and we would be able to provide that information to our decision makers. On board the aircraft, we have the ability to go through and detect uh, any type of radiological anomaly. So anything that you would see as uh, something that we would want to know is there and determine where something like that might, might be. Training went excellent. It was probably one of the best ones we've done. According to FEMA, they were very pleased. The Sheriff's Office has, has gone above and beyond to make sure that we stay as protected as a community as possible. Palm Beach County probably has one of the most robust teams that is capable of doing this. And it's only through that specialized training and specialized certification that we can do those things.